footwear on the barricades, the rough, tough, cream puff estate agency for squatters and its team of crowbar-wielding liberators reckon they house more people than Westminster Council. Its regular bulletins, written by poets and graffiti artists, encourage would-be squatters to squat now while stocks last. Cornwall Crescent, designed by your actual Nash. We're talking five star squats here. It became so widespread, but officially unrecognised, that one year in the mid 70s, Latimer Road didn't even appear on the A to Z. But let's not end on a downer. In 1977, this was the Republic of Frestonia a squatted street of semi-derelict Victorian cottages, a couple of old shabby factories and a big mural of Stonehenge on the corner. Nice, but not a long-term gig. The squatters organised when they needed to. And they forced, eventually forced the local council to CPO the whole area and build this, and they designed it themselves. Housing 120 of the squatters and about 120 people off the local council house waiting list. It's all fancy brickwork, balconies, that little garden up there. You don't often see that in council houses, do you? Okay, so they're paying rent, but they didn't for 10 years. Now this is the enclosed gardens in the middle of it. 